afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Thanks a lot for the visit. A lot of things are going on in the Instagram community and a lot of saga not to reiterate, not to go back to the stories. Now, the saga that is coming up now, you know, each saga comes and go, each each things come and go, and we are beating around the bush. We are not talking about the real truth. What is the use of exposing the government committee? We are just trying to wash around the pot. Do we subscribe to government committee? Beneficiaries, we need to ask ourselves some questions. Who do we subscribe to? How can we be chasing cloud? We leave the main rain, we are chasing cloud. Who do we subscribe to? UAAG. Who is the country director of UAAG, Ken Wakama? Who carried us to government committee? In the beginning, we were told that this is an NGO affair. And it's still an NGO affair. Why is it in the hands of government committee? That is the first question. Then the second question, who instituted the government committee? Then the third question, who are the government committee? Uh, I, the beneficiaries and the subscribers and NGO, they are too gullible. I don't know. Are they reasoning at all? Did you subscribe to government committee grant or government grant? Which grant do you subscribe to? UAG grant. Since UAG grant is not coming forth, then why are the NGOs going to meet government committee? Anyways, it's just that I'm not among the government committee. If I were to be among the government committee, when you come after me, I arrest all of you. And apart from that, too, how are we so sure that there's anything like government committee? In this Nigeria, you are telling us government committee. What are their nomenclature? What is their name? Which agency? Which agency? Is the agency of humanitarian affairs, minister of finance, agriculture? Tourism, which ministry? Government committee, government committee, they don't have ministry. Government committee, government committee, we can't even hold one person's name. And the beneficiary subscribers are gullible trying to say we'll go after government committee. For me, many people might attack me, and which they have always been. This is Ken's propaganda. Since Temitope took Ken to CDHR, he has not given any broadcast. Rather, he's using social media propaganda. Social media propaganda everywhere. If you go to, if you go to, if you go to YouTube now, if you go to YouTube now, another social media, what you'll be hearing now is propaganda. Propaganda. You know, and this propaganda is being perpetrated by Ken and his cohorts so that they will they will shift the mind of nigerians going after the main thing and chasing clouds they are not saying that it's the government committee that is to be held accountable before before they said that it's agpg buckle up nigeria should be held accountable agpg and i have broken away from uaag now so do your disbursement they are now saying that this agpgn saga as in agpgn uh, 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 being held accountable doesn't work. What they are now saying is the government committee. I bet you this government committee propaganda will soon fade. It will soon fade. And when it fails, they will bring out another trick. So the main thing is to hold Ken on the neck. Let him hold the government committee, so called government committee. Let them disburse the money. He's saying that it's the government committee that is in charge. We don't know the government committee. Who we know is the person we did verification in his hand. And the beneficiaries are being gullible. CEOs are being gullible. It seems that the CEOs don't have anything to lose. Many of them are bought cars. Many of them are bought houses with our money. So it's the beneficiaries. And the beneficiary, the, 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 the person that came out to speak was... Temitope, and the report is being processed now. They have they have, they have used her head. They have used her now. She 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 doesn't even know what she's doing. Hmm? She's now gullible. She's now very much gullible. So so what what we are saying is that beneficiaries be wise. Please be wise. Be wise. There is no need of going to 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 talk about government committee. Because 
we don't have anything to do with government committee it's only ken and uaag we have something to do with so i bet you they said on monday we are going to go after government committee let them go after them because they don't have any credence to go after them did you meet me did you commission me did you know me no they can't go arrest them anybody that blasphemes them uh, they can't sue anybody is ken and uaag that we know you know so for me all these things they are doing is propaganda is still august propaganda every month have his propaganda last month was temito saga last two months was uh, agpgn go after agpgn if they did not dispose and last month and this month ken have not come out to say anything is that not suspicious won't you ask yourself some questions those that are raising the 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 the, the, the trumpet and they're fanning ken he has not come out to say i i this is what is happening I'm not supporting AGPGN, but they have come to make a speech two times now. Also, the host have come to say something. Ken has not spoken anything for two months. Is that not suspicious enough? They are going after government committee in NGO grants. Anyways, let's see how things will unfold. They say on Monday they will do press conference. On Monday they will do. What is the basis of the press conference? Who is going to be in attendance? Who are they fighting? Who are they meeting? Who are they soliciting? Jennifer Isaac say will submit letter to 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 Tunubu's son. Tunubu will give it. Does that mean mean something official? If something is official, why do you have to go through Tunubu's son? They will sweep it under the carpet, as if it's lobbying. You go through Tunubu's son to submit a letter. This is what you they they, they have to meet the agency in charge. They will treat it as a due process. You are meeting, giving letter to Tunubu son. Tunubu son will submit you to the father. There is no agency in charge. You submit you to the appropriate agency. The appropriate agency will take due process. But now the, there is no even the grant doesn't even have any name attached to it as a donor. The grant does not even have any agency. The grant does not even have any amount. The grant does not have goal. What's the goal of the grant? Give us money to embezzle. So guys, these things we have said now, a lot of people will come and criticize in the comment section. You are free. But still next month, we will come back to this circle if nothing is done. And that time, we will not be talking about government committee. That time, the identity of government committee must have been disclosed and would have been, the truth would have been said. And still, we are back to base one. But Antimita went to this CJR and the truth was cleared that you can didn't have the document. That's what they said, that the document is with the government. Is that not clear enough that there is a very big deception and lies? Anyway, guys, see on the other side. I bet you, if nothing is done, to this time next month, we'll still be in the same circle, saying the same thing, even worse. Now the situation has gotten worse. Before Ken comes out to make a speech, we analyze the situation of things. Now he had decided to just elope. He doesn't say anything. So, anyways, the gullible ones is the is the C is the CEO and uh, NGOs that are holding out at ransom. So I bet you subscribers, we don't even have anything to do with Ken. Because we only subscribe to our NGOs. So NGOs. Are the ones who should hold so subscribers hold your ngo then if the ng if you hold ngos to the neck they will now hold ken and uaag meeting government committee it won't work it won't work so guys that is it that that is just it that is this month's propaganda august propaganda government committee and i bet you the government committee they say they are seven they will come out to speak and they will let this open we we'll still see another truth, still remain ignorant.